OB-59 is bringing us a new flank. Talus, I've spent some time with him, and I gotta say, this adorable little guy is unfortunately very underwhelming. I will go as far as to say that he is the most underwhelming character that they have ever released. I don't seem to be alone on this either. Everywhere I go, I see people talking about how bad he is, and when I was playing him yesterday, I was in plenty of games where he wasn't picked on one team, or even both. I can't think of any other character that people avoided picking on the first day. Now, why is Talus so bad? Well, there's a ton of reasons. For starters, his DPS isn't very good. He does about 950 damage a second, but that's if you land every bullet and if you're right in front of the enemy's face. If you're more than like a foot away, the falloff starts to kick in. The falloff is very severe, way too severe for how little damage he does. He does have an ability called Overcharge that makes him fire 33% faster, but that barely helps him out. All of the other flanks can kill much faster than he can. Maeve is really the only good flank right now, and her being able to burst down a target very quickly and have no damage fall off on top of that are big parts of it. Going back to Talus, let's talk a little bit about his movement. Talus has no vertical mobility, and this makes him the fourth flank to not have any. A flank that doesn't have vertical mobility is automatically worse than one that does, because without it, you can only pick that flank on a few select maps. It takes too long for flanks like Zinn, Sky, Lex, and of course now Talus to get around and flank on maps like Splitstone Quarry, for example. Now, he does have a card that gives him 32% more movement speed while his Rune of Travel is active, and that's pretty good for the maps with no verticality. You can pair this with one of his legendaries, Faustian Bargain, Faustian Bargain, it's something like that. Basically what it does is it makes it that if you don't use your teleport manually, then your rune cooldown does not get used. So you can pop the rune down again, and basically always have bonus movement speed active. Now as for the rune of travel itself, it's pretty predictable, and without the legendary it'll force you back automatically, and that can really cost you depending on the situation. His other ability, Blitz Upper, is actually pretty good. It makes you dash forward into an AoE melee that knocks back enemies and deals 600 damage. If you sneak up behind the enemy, you can use this to knock their backline into their front line. So if there's something like a Maldamba and a Leon hiding behind their tanks, you can knock them in front of their tanks. Once you do this, they're all probably going to be confused for a moment, and your team can take advantage of this and kill the Mal and Leanne now that they've been displaced. Then this leaves the two frontliners and whoever else is left without any healing, and they're stuck in a 3v5, so it'll be easy to take them out and get the point. Being able to displace multiple targets on demand is really good, it's just kind of sad it's on somebody so weak. As for his ultimate, I guess it has a few uses. One of the biggest is that at the start of the round, you can put down your rune of travel, then alt to the enemy, dismount them all, and teleport back. This allows your team to get to the point first. For the most part, that's pretty much it though. It can of course deal with a problematic target in the back line, but if they're sticking close to their team, then their teammates will just kill you when you teleport to them. His ultimate also can't target stealthed enemies from what I've seen. I tried to target a Strix and he went in Viz and I couldn't target him and I ended up losing 30% of my ult. Now I understand a basic ability like Alexa's Retribution not being able to target stealthed enemies, but an ultimate ability? That just seems kind of silly to me. So, pretty much, Talus is just a bad skirmisher with no real depth to his character. He's easily countered, and even when he's not being countered, his damage is too low for him to really be impactful. He's too underwhelming in too many areas for him to be even remotely useful. He's gonna need quite a few buffs to get him up to where Maeve is right now, which is really where all the flanks should be. Maeve is really the only flank that's any good right now, and if you don't believe me, look at how much Maeve has been getting picked in esports lately. She's basically picked every game. I even saw her get banned along with Makoa once. Makoa, the best character in the game. So that's really saying something. Now before I close out, I want to ask you guys something. When new characters are released, what do you prefer? Them releasing too powerful or them releasing too weak? I personally prefer them being too powerful. I really like how Leanne and Genos was released. They were both a bit too powerful, but they were still manageable. They didn't run games on their own or anything, and you didn't lose just because you didn't ban them or pick them. They were both just a bit too good at what they did, so Hi-Rez took a couple of updates to lower them down bit by bit, 
until they were in a good spot. I think that's a lot better than releasing a character too weak and no one ends up caring about them. It kind of makes it feel like they weren't released at all because nobody's picking them, and that's super disappointing. Anyway, what do you guys think about Talus, and what do you think he needs done to him to be worth picking? Let me know in the comments below. And that's pretty much it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye!